This short video will show you how to gut and skin rabbits so that they are ready for the food chain. I will show you a more unconventional method that works well and reduces the risk of fly contamination during the summer months. The rabbit should be gutted as quick as possible after they have been shot. This method here is the push gutting method where no incision is made with a knife. You simply begin to squeeze the guts towards the rear of the rabbit until they exit. Starting at the rib area and working down on all the guts is under pressure at the rear of the rabbit and a final push will bring them out all in one go. This is a nice clean way of removing the guts and it comes into its own in the warm weather because you have no split made with a knife so the risk of fly contamination to the meat is reduced. I will just go through this with you again. So start squeezing the guts from the rib cage down once under pressure. One final push brings them out all in one go. As you notice here, nothing's burst open, no contamination inside that rabbit. Everything's nice and clean. Now we have a little exit wound where everything came out, but no split in the rabbit, reducing any contamination from flies or insects. On some big buck rabbits this method can prove to be a little difficult until you master the method. Alternatively you can use the standard way to cut your rabbits and that's with a knife. For this method you don't need a big clumsy knife, a short pocket knife is more than suitable as you're only using the tip of the blade. I always hold the rabbit by the front legs and cut down using only the tip of the blade so that you don't nick any of the intestines. I've seen some people destroy rabbits when trying to cut them. By sticking knives right in and ripping the front of the rabbit open along with the guts this causes instant contamination to the meat from the contents of the guts. Once all the rabbits have been opened up I remove the guts along with the liver. Once the guts are out I suggest that you dig a hole in a sensible place and bury the guts. Nobody likes to see piles of guts left lying about and especially on shooting estates as this will attract other unwanted vermin. People skin rabbits using various methods. Some hang them up to skin them, others skin them on a bench using knives to remove the skin. Some skin them and then start pushing legs through this way and that way before cutting them off. To be honest, most methods people use for skinning are way too slow if you're skinning any big numbers of rabbits. If you're like me, you'll want to do this job effective but as quick as you can, because skinning them is not my most favourite job, but it has to be done. If your buyers want fresh rabbits straight from the field, you will need to work quick so they're still fresh when then get them delivered. The quickest and easiest way i found to prepare the rabbits is this. First of all I remove the head and the legs with a meat cleaver. Once all the heads and legs are removed, I make an incision through the skin with a knife in the middle of the back. This has done all the rabbits I am working with before I start removing the skins. Once all the rabbits have cut through the skin in the back area, then I start to remove the skins by placing my fingers in the split I made and pull either way. I will do this slower than normal so that you can see how this method works. Make sure that after the tail is removed that you ensure that the lower gut containing droppings and the bladder is removed. 
If you're unsure, simply cut through the membrane between the legs and have a quick check. Although I'm skinning these slower than normal for the benefit of the video, I hope you can see how effective and quick this can be. I will do a few more so you can see how the skinning method works and how easy it is compared to other ways. You can see now why all the rabbits must be headshot so that no rabbits are bruised or contaminated with the contents of the guts. All rabbits going back into the human food chain must be first class condition, unmarked and prepared in the correct way. To sell rabbits to game dealers and other places like restaurants, you may require a game meat hygiene certificate and have a trained hunter's ID number. Training is given by the National Gamekeepers Organisation. This is done periodically throughout the year at different locations throughout the UK. This means you have been trained in the game meat handling and you can comply with the new meat hygiene rules. The course covers all game birds, all deer, ducks, geese, pigeons, rabbit hares, squirrel and even rooks. The trained hunter's ID number and carcass label is requested by every restaurant now I go to before they'll buy anything from me. These rabbits are now labelled before they go to the game dealers, stating where and when they were shot, notes on the condition of the animal at the time of death, any other reason for concern and your trained hunter's ID number. All the smaller stuff I shoot does not go to waste. I strip all the nice tender meat off and bake them into rabbit and black pudding pies. The pies feed the family and I also give some back to the farmers and the keepers. It's just a way of saying thanks for letting me work the way I do. I hope you picked up some tips while watching this. Also see my other YouTube videos for more hunt related material.